what women want from men. Now that may seem complicated, but it's actually not. What women need and want are two different things. And what they need from a man is stability, is emotional stability. Someone who is not affected by their mood, someone who is not abusive, someone who does not ignore them, someone who is present to them all the time, someone who's kind and considerate, and someone that listens to them and understands them. Because for a woman, that language of understanding them, of feeling understood, is paramount. And if you're distracted, if you're busy, if you're focused on work and producing and being the income earner and, you know, focused on the kids and focused on taking the rubbish out, all that stuff's great. But that's not what she needs. Now, often she might say she wants you to do all those things. Absolutely. But what she needs is very, very different. And being present is being present in your masculine state. That state is something that most men now have got no clue what it actually is. Because it's there, it's present in the background, but it's not used. It's not used in an aggressive or dominating way. But it's used for protection, loyalty, integrity, bravery, etc. And that's what she's seeking from you. Mostly, it is the state from which you communicate, the state with which you're present with her from. Now, if you don't understand state, you are completely missing out on the right type of communication. Because the right type of communication is being in state, being in that state. And culturally, now, that state is not present for most men. And that causes a problem in the communication because you're not giving her what she needs. Yes, you're giving her what she wants, running around the kids, earning money, doing all that stuff. And most men complain about that. What, what does she want? I'm doing all this stuff for her. Yes, that's what she wants, but not what she needs. Because needs is at the emotional level. And women are emotional beings. Sure, as men, we experience emotions too, but very differently to how women experience them. We don't need as many things. It's pretty simple for us. We need a good companion, someone that wants to open themselves to us and fully give themselves to us and make love with us because that's how we connect. That's where we get the big dose of oxytocin that makes us feel connected. For women, it's talking. It gives them that big dose of oxytocin, but more particularly, not just talking, us being present to what they're communicating, not the words, the emotions. And these skills, these things I've outlined in all my TikTok videos, we do not have them now. We've lost them in our culture. And hence, our trainings bring these things back again. Now, if you think you can do this on your own, good luck. We've seen many, many people try. You need training in this. You need to understand it. You need to practice it. You need to get the communication style right to enable love, the love that you have between the two of you, to flow again. It doesn't matter where you're at, you can bring it back. So understand there are certain things she needs and that's what you need to supply.